Hello my fellow smug ones, hope you're all well. Okay, I know what you're thinking. You are thinking, why on earth is this ruggedly handsome man at his age starting YouTube? He should be mid-twenties. He should be a teenager. But no, he's nearly 40. Anyway, Sunday marked seven days since I uploaded my first YouTube video. So what was my first week on YouTube like? Well, let's see. <laughs> Before I jump into my analytics, which is all the stats of the YouTube videos, I just want to tell you a bit how YouTube works. Before you can start earning money from your videos, you need to be monetized. And to get monetized, you need to have at least a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours over the last 12 months. Now, 4,000 hours with everyone in the world watching YouTube may not sound like a lot, but if you break it down, that is actually 240,000 minutes. And if your videos are only a few minutes long, that 240,000 minutes could take quite a long while to achieve. Being monetized on YouTube isn't the only way you can make money. You can also get sponsorship deals where people send you free stuff, which you can review and sometimes they'll even let you keep it, which is good. Anyway, let's see how I got on on my first week. And after that, I'll tell you what I learned for my first week as well. Let's begin. You have time travelled back to 11pm on Sunday the 20th of September. This is the main dashboard area, although where we want to go to is analytics. Don't have any playlists, don't have any comments yet. Analytics, right. I've had 60 views um, since I started, which isn't too bad. Uh, obviously I started on the Sunday, so I uploaded my first one. I didn't upload the next one until the Thursday, so that's Hopefully why there's that dip in between. It's my real time views, my latest published videos. As you can see, it's the Apple event. Okay, my watch time is 108 minutes since Sunday, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all, because my videos are only usually a couple of minutes long, three to four minutes at the most. And obviously we had that little dip in the middle of the week. But still, 108 minutes is not bad at all, I think. Quite happy with that. Obviously, we need 4,000 watch hours within the first year. So with 108 minutes, I've got a long, long way to go. But hopefully, I'll soon be able to get there. It's my likes and dislikes, 100%. That's how we like it. Okay, discovery. These are the impressions. Let's change that to seven days. As you can see, I think that's the way people discover it and the, this is the click through rate. I'll just change that to seven days too. As you can see, people have clicked on it. I like this. This is the, this is the traffic source types. This is where people, how people came to see my videos. As you can see, it says quite a lot was from external and channel pages, which is good. My top external source was Facebook. The other one is text messaging. Because I'm sure, you know, if you started a YouTube channel, you'd want to text and let all your new friends know as well. Ah, oh, now I like this. These are the search terms which people put in to find my videos. Each video has tags, which is what you type in, which you think people might search for. These are my most popular videos. Unfortunately, not enough people have watched to get the data on gender and age and top countries, etc. I don't have any interactive content and I don't have any playlists either. Anyway, back to me in the future. The main things I learn are thumbnails, those little things you click on to watch the YouTube video. They actually do make quite a big difference. If you see someone just sitting there like this, or you're not really going to click on it. If you see a big jazzed up thumbnail with loads of text on and things like that, then you may do. So they do make a big difference. Also editing. Oh my God, editing. That takes way, way longer than I expected. And lighting. Lighting makes such a big difference. I know you can't see it, but behind the camera is a ring light which casts light onto my face. And behind the chair, I've got a bedside table lamp, which hopefully will cast light up and reduce some of the shadows. Although it hasn't worked with that one. Anyway, are you thinking about starting a YouTube channel? If so, what's it about? Let me know. It also let me know if you've got any questions as well. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you next time.